Hi, Eric. Yeah, it's fascinating how this developed because uh, all the protesters and the people who are shouting shame, murderer, and, uh, uh, you know, go home, all that stuff, uh, materialized out of nowhere. We saw the crowd building a little bit in the few minutes prior to it, but by the time the press conference time at 2, 2 p.m. came around, uh, they had surrounded all the cameras here and shouted out anything that Kessler might have wanted to say. They, just like us, just like everybody in today's world, monitor social media. Uh, Kessler and Richard Spencer, another white nationalist who had promised to be here today, which, uh, which he did not show up, uh, had announced that they would be having this press conference, and so opponents are aware of it, and they know when to show up as well. They literally, quite, uh, quite literally, ran him off. He exited to the left uh, through the bushes, accompanied by state police officers, but the whole crowd followed him right through the woods uh, to an awaiting car. It was a very, very tense moment, and you can see some uh, remnants of some of the protesters uh, behind me right now as they uh, uh, spout slogans and, and various things like that. But uh, it was a tense moment, a little bit calmer than anything, well, a lot calmer than anything we saw yesterday, and I have a theory. It's nothing more than a theory as to why it was not calmer, why it was calmer, and why it did not erupt into total violence here. And that's because I think many of the Antifa protesters who were here and who were inciting violence yesterday have now gone. If they had been here, he would have been pummeled with sticks and bottles, et cetera, et cetera. Also accompanying that, the police kept a very close watch on that and were uh, uh, here in great number, infiltrated through the crowd and throughout the cameraman. So, uh, Disaster averted here, in short, Eric. Yeah, and you were making a point earlier today from yesterday in terms of the police presence. Is it, is it stronger and more thoroughly, in that sense, deployed today to try to prevent any other incidences later on this afternoon? Well, there was no shortage of police yesterday. They were here in force. Uh, no shortage of police here today as the announcement of this press conference began to take hold. So they were here in number. If there was a difference, I would say that they tended to be more interspersed in the crowd and were prepared to react more quickly than they did yesterday. Uh, as it turns out, there was nothing being thrown, nobody hit that I saw of here. So uh, I, th I think they're on, uh, you know, higher alert, perhaps, is a good way to put it right now. Yeah, and the good news, of course, no incidents. Meanwhile, James Fields, the suspect, the 20-year-old yeah. man from Ohio and uh, northern Kentucky, who was allegedly driving that car into the crowd that killed Heather Heyer. Uh, there are reports today from the AP that his former teacher has says that he had an infatuation with Nazis. He had infatuation, his words, with uh, Adolf Hitler. Apparently had that, uh, a baby picture of Hitler on his Facebook uh, uh, page. Any new information on uh, the charges against him as we await his appearance in court tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And because he's a relatively young man, uh, only 20 years old, uh, he had to have been fairly well known. Uh, by his mother. She had to know what he was up to, at least to some extent. The Associated Press uh, tracked her down yesterday and did an interview with her in which she was, uh, uh, appeared to be somewhat dumbfounded over what her son was doing, but uh, perhaps she has more knowledge of the situation than she has let on. And we are monitoring the situation in terms of his court appearance. The standard routine here in Charlottesville is that people who are arrested over the weekend uh, face a bond hearing on Mondays beginning at 9 a.m. We've uh, sought out further information from the city of Charlottesville as to whether or not that will happen, and they have been unresponsive thus far. But we're going to be here at the courthouse tomorrow in the event that uh, 